<laughs> we sound very good together. We're better than good. Uh, we sound like a real band. I can see us now. Names and lights, a world tour, bands everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Strawberry and the Berryettes. How about Strawberry and the Berry Berries? <laughs> <laughs> strawberry and the Sweetie Sweets? Strawberry and the Berry Beets? How about Strawberry and the Sweet Beets? Yeah! yeah! That's a great thing! <laughs> but Cherry, it should be your band. Well, you had the idea and got us to practice. I've had enough of the limelight. So I hope you don't mind, Strawberry, but the Berry Big City Bitty Games needs a band for the opening ceremony. They called me, but I suggested your band and sent a tape. And they said yes! <laughs> There's so much to do. I have to pack. But what do I pack? Oh, uh, I'll need a jacket if it's cold. And shorts if it's hot. Galoshes if it rains. <laughs> Take it easy, Raspberry. You don't even know when we're going. When are we going, Cherry? Tomorrow. <gasps> Tomorrow? There's so much to do. Wait, Wait for, for us. us! Wow. We're going to Berry Big City. That's a long way. <laughs> Uh, uh how, how are we gonna get there? Oh, I thought we'd just take my tour bus. Oh! Uh, how long will we be gone? A long time, I bet. <sighs> well, I better get packing. Me too. Are you coming, Orange? Yeah, right behind you. We'll be taking my bus to Berry Big City. Do you think it'll make the trip okay? Hmm. Well, if anybody can do it, it's probably me. <gasps> Wonderful! And could you do one more thing with the bus? Hmm. When do you need it? Tomorrow. Hmm. <gasps> Tomorrow? <laughs> There's so much to do. Where's my sprocket wrench? When we're a team, we can do anything. We're invincible. Let's make a plan together. Ah, Strawberry! Would you have any of that marvelous mulberry pie? The very best pie in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> Why, thank you, Berry Kim Bloom! Right away! <gasps> Ooh, what is this? Don't tell me. You're rearranging the cafe? No. You're looking for a treasure. No, no, you're, you're, you're going on a trip. Yes! <laughs> All the way to Very Big City. Oh, a magnificent metropolis. I haven't been there since... <gasps> what? <gasps> if you're there and I'm here, how will I get any pie? Oh, uh, that's a very good question. What you doing? Where are you going? And why? We're all going away on a long trip. <sighs> but what about us? Where will we get things like this? And that? And these? <gasps> You're right! Where will my customers go? A critical matter indeed. What will happen to us, and what will happen to Berry Bitty City? There'll be no one to take care of my store. Or Lemon's Beauty Salon, Blueberry's Bookshop, Plum's Dance Studio, Cherry's Music Lessons, Strawberry's Cafe, anything! Maybe we can show the Berrykins how to run things while we're gone. <gasps> Brilliant plan! We, the Berrykins, shall take charge! For duty, for honor, for Berry Bitty City! Yeah! Don't forget the scent stems! My customers love them! 
check. When do I give the facial? After you set out the magazines. You want to make the salon experience a pleasure. Got it. Pleasure. Now, Mud? Okay, I think you're ready to... Oh! Oh, my! Oh! Oh! American Bell! What? Did I miss a spot? I think we're gonna need a little more practice. I'll have the tossed salad, please. Tossing the salad! Tossing the tossed salad! Oh, that was very good, but next time, don't forget the plate. Oh! Well, it's, uh, different. When reading aloud, you must create the proper mood for your listener. Yes, the mood. Yes. It's great! <laughs> pepper under B. I suppose I'll find the missing red pepper under R. Hmm. Pepper goes in the P section. And sweet basil does not go under S. It may be sweet, but it goes in B for basil, sweet or not. This isn't working. They're doing the best they can, but oh, there's no way I can leave them in charge of my store. What are you saying? I'm saying that I'll just have to stay here. The rest of us go on without you? I'm sorry, Strawberry. But Orange, we need you in the band. Maybe if you show the Berrykins exactly what they need to know to run your store while you're gone, I'm sure they could get it right next time. Oh, okay. Let's give it another try. There! <laughs> How's that? Hmm. Now then, let's see. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, uh, never mind. That's where it's supposed to be. Aha! No, I guess that does go there. All in all, it's more or less basically perfect. Yeah! <laughs> Phew! <laughs> now you can go on the trip with us! <laughs> Looks that way, huh? <gasps> oh, Cherry! You made it a Strawberry and the Sweet Beats Band tour bus! <laughs> well, what do you think? Fantastic! Oh, Oh, Barrack and Bruce, it's beautiful. Well, <laughs> I figured if you're going to Berry Big City, why not go in style? Yeah! We're all packed. We were supposed to leave an hour ago. What's keeping her? She's just having a little trouble deciding what to pack. She'll be here any... Um... Minute... Uh, we're gonna need a bigger bus. I'm afraid there's not enough room for all of that, Orange. But I, I can't leave any of it behind. Uh, not even two dozen jars of assorted jams and jellies? Well, I could maybe take just one dozen. Your store's entire stock of tape, paper clips, and envelopes? Well, you never know when you're gonna need... Come on, girls. Let's get the rest of this loaded on the bus.
seat, little ones, and we shall begin. Here's a nice book of nursery rhymes that I... No! Not that one! Leave this one. It's a lot better. Really? Well, uh, the case of the slinking, slinking slinker? Oh, my, <laughs> that sounds a bit <clears throat> frightening. But it's science! Oh, well, then... Once upon a time, there was a slinking slinker who... who... Hold on. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, um, are we sure we wouldn't rather hear these quaint and charming little nursery rhymes? Slinking slinker! Slinking slinker! A slinking slinker who had long, sharp, glistening teeth and a growl as loud as a foghorn. Oh, this sounds dreadful. <laughs> this will be so much fun! I can't believe we're actually going! Aren't you excited, Orange? Orange? Is something wrong? Stop the bus! <laughs> what is it? What's the matter? I just remembered I forgot to bring... my tea. <laughs> tea? We can get some in very big city. Not my special blend. It, it's my own blend. Mine. My very own. I cannot get it anywhere else. I... I guess there's time to go back. And the slinking slinker slinked into the night, and nobody ever knew what happened to it, and that's all the end! Yeah! No, no, no. It's past my, uh, er, past your bedtime. Uh, come along now, come along. Oh, Off you go. Get to bed. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Don't think about... about that awful slinking slinker. Is everything all right, Berrikin Bloom? All right? How could it be all right with that slinking slinker slinking about? Slinking slinker? Mm, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> I should say, slinking slinkers are only the most terrifying creatures in existence. I read it in a science book. And you say there's one around here? Here, there, no telling where. That's how it is with slinking slinkers, you know. They slink. Well, I'm not scared. Why should I be afraid of a... Well, let's get Orange's tea so we can be on the road again. Oh, a slinking slinker. Oh, goodness me. I'm sure there's a simple expert. What was that? Something. We must protect Berry Bitty City while the girls are gone. We promised. Let's keep this to ourselves. No need to alarm the whole city. Hmm. I have an idea. Oh, I almost couldn't find it. Those barricans have my store too organized. Come on, let's get going. Listen, a whole army of them. We must defend the city. I think uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, that is the very best I could do with such short notice. Amazing! What is it? A slinking slinker snatcher. Watch. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I sort of thought so. 
just a little farther. This is the last place the Slinker and Slinker was almost seen. <laughs> Trap is set. Now what? Now we wait. It's very late. We don't want to wake the Berrykins. Let's be quiet. Oh, this sounds dreadful. Must be the slinking slinker. Shh. We don't want the Berrykins to think there's somebody slinking around. Yeah, but we're slinking around. What is this doing out here? Oh, see? I knew the Berrykins wouldn't put things away when we were gone. What is that? Looks like some kind of <gasps> trap. Ooh, sounds like we caught a big one. <laughs> oh, hey, these look a lot like strawberry shortcake. What are you doing here? Uh, we needed to come back <sighs> to check on the city. Um, sort of. But the city is fine. That's why we built this trap. To protect Berry Bitty City from the Slinking Slinker. <laughs> the Slinking Slinker? That's just a story. <laughs> Did the baby Berrykins tell you it was real? Oh, oops. <laughs> I thought it was, and then when I heard, well, someone slinking. Oh, my. <laughs> that was just us, I'm afraid. <laughs> Guess I let my worries carry me away. Running your businesses and taking care of the city were harder than we thought, but we did our very best. Didn't you trust us, Strawberry? Oh, it wasn't that. It was... <sighs> it was me. I kept finding excuses to come back. I guess I, I was sort of afraid to leave Berry Bitty City. Aw, you were afraid? You could have told us. Oh, we understand. I'm sorry, Orange. It's no fun to feel afraid. Does it help to know we'll all be there together? It does. You're not afraid to sing, are you? And you're not afraid to put on a costume and get up on stage? No, of course not. Berry Bitty City is a very wonderful place, and we'd never leave it for long. You know that, right? What if, instead of thinking about what we're leaving behind, Think of what's ahead. A great big adventure waiting for all of us. Yeah. Our band's first performance will be very amazing. I would never want to miss that. Uh, wait a minute, if you could. I have something for Orange. If ever I have occasion to travel from home, I always take this reminder of home with me. I'd like you to have it. It's Berry Bitty City. There's my house and my store. Oh, thanks. Thanks, everybody. I think I'm ready to go now. Come on, Sweet Beats. We can practice our song on the way. Daisies look thirsty. You're growing incredibly fast. Hi, Blueberry. So, how does your garden grow? Most definitely the fastest growing flowers I've ever seen. Just planted the seeds this morning, and look, they've sprouted already. Wow, that is fast. Zippy grow dramatic daisies from berry bitty seed to full size flower in just a few days. Um,. How big do you think they'll get? Approximately as tall as my store. Oh, almost forgot. The cookbook you ordered came this morning. Oh, terrific! Here you are. The Mighty Muffin Cookbook. Big recipes for bitty bakers. Go 
thank you, Blueberry. <laughs> You're very welcome. There's a corn muffin recipe in here that I can't wait to try. I've heard it's really good, but it's more complicated than anything I've baked before. I read about the author, a very famous chef in Big Bitty City. I'm sure if you just follow his directions, you'll be just fine. <laughs> Preheated to 375. Check. Set timer for 25 minutes. Check. Huh? Recipe? If those are muffins, I can't wait to see what happens when you bake a cake. Thanks for helping me clean up, everybody. When somebody in Berry Bitty City needs help, we all help. <gasps> you got it. Sure, no problem. Glad to help. That's what we do in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. And you're quite sure you followed the recipe? I think so. Well, the most likely explanation is that you must have made a mistake somewhere along the line. Seems like it. But I was sure I followed the directions. Well, I'll just have to try it again. And this time, I'll be super careful. Wow, no wonder they call you Zippy Grill. You're really getting big. Hmm, it's my observation that you look a little different from the picture. But you're so young yet. Who knows what you'll look like when you grow up? <gasps> oh no! Come on, what is it? Oh, no, not again. Let's go. <gasps> uh, don't worry. This time I just put one bitty, and I mean very bitty muffin in the oven, instead of a whole pan. Huh? <gasps> huh? Oh. This time, all I have to clean is the oven. Okay, I got it. Just change its name to... Muffin surprise! Uh, <laughs> oh, <I know>. Muffin explosion? Ha! <laughs> uh, Mega Muffin Explosion Supreme! Ha uh ha! -huh. <laughs> hey, that is pretty funny! <laughs> this really doesn't make sense. I was extra careful to follow the directions, but the same thing happened. I checked off every step, double checked the oven's temperature, triple checked the timer. Huh. Maybe the recipe has a mistake in it. What do you think? I think that's highly unlikely. Something you did seems more probable to me. Too much flour, not enough water? I measured everything to the last drop. But, you know, sometimes the most unlikely possibility is possible. There might be a mistake in the cookbook. But how could that be? I don't know. But the only way to find out is to give it another try and pay extra super close attention to every step. And if it still doesn't work, well, then maybe this is one of those times when I'll have to use my own judgment, my own common sense, and my own taste buds and adjust the recipe. Don't worry, I'll solve this puzzle. Hmm, I like directions you can count on. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes it's fun to improvise. Improvise? 
It means to make something out of what you have at the moment. Kind of like when things don't go as planned, go with what you have and make the best you can with it. I like it. Sounds like a good way to solve a puzzle. And speaking of puzzles, I've got one for you in my garden. Got a minute? Sure. Well, they're tall, all right. Even taller than the package said they were supposed to be. Are you sure they're daisies? Of course. It says so on the seed packet. Could they just look that way because they're still growing? Well, I'm not a plant expert. But you know who is. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Blueberry. <laughs> no problem. Well, let's see. Uh, yes, it must be. <laughs> it's corn. Corn? Impossible. I planted daisy seeds. <gasps> Oh, thank you, Blueberry. You're welcome, Berry Can Bloom. But are you sure? Oh, yes. If you hadn't caught me. I mean, about the, you know, daisies. Daisies? Oh, no, 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 no. Corn. Oh, dear. What's the matter? You've never looked sadder. It must have been something I did to the daisy seeds. Too much water or too little water or too much sun or something. Uh, oh, my. You did everything right. Best crop of corn I've seen. Bet you'd be a natural with squash. Hmm. Oh, well, come on, everybody. Back to the berry works. <laughs> Nice corn! Ooh, that's what I call corn. Tallest I've ever seen! Boy, it is big! Hi, Berrykins! Hi, Hi Strawberry. Strawberry! Nice corn! So I've been told. Maybe we better dig it up and replant it somewhere else before it gets too big? They can't get bigger. They're daisies. They have to be. It says so on the package. Well,. I just came over because I got a letter from the author of the Mighty Muffin Cookbook. I wrote to him. You did? Uh-huh. I said I couldn't get his recipe to work, so I improvised. I've made muffins before, and I don't remember ever using that much baking soda. I tried using less, and the muffins came out better. So I asked the author, could there be a mistake in his book? And what did he say? That he checked it out, and yes, there was a mistake. The recipe called for a cup full of baking soda, when it should have been a tablespoon. Wow, that's the last thing I would have imagined, for the cookbook to be wrong. I tried the muffins again with the right directions, and they came out perfectly. He says they're printing a new edition right away, with the mistake fixed, and he's sending me a signed copy. <laughs> that's wonderful, Strawberry. So, you never know. Maybe you did everything right, but the package was wrong. Here, I made a batch of muffins for you. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Listen, gotta run back. <laughs> I'm still baking. See you, Blueberry. to describe that are growing in my garden at this very minute do not look anything like daisies. Okay, now let me get this straight. You're saying long leaves. Long leaves. Kind of bent down and flopped over, sort of like cornstalk leaves. Exactly like cornstalk leaves. And you say long thing is that sort of look like ears of corn. No, they look exactly like ears of corn. I'm looking at a picture of a big stalk of corn. Right here in the official encyclopedia of flowers, farm foods, and... Well, I'm a daisy man myself, no expert on corn, except when I pop it. But watch out, when you're bitty, that stalk pops with a bang. <laughs> <laughs> but here at Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for bitty gardens is our motto, we pretty much guess that what you have growing there is probably... Oh. 
But how is that possible when I planted your company's daisy seeds? Well, now, right there's the mystery. And I don't mind telling you, it's got us stumped. Oh! Oh, no. See, the plain fact is that here at Zippy Grove Daisies, we don't sell corn, no serene. But we're a fiction tool. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. We've been experimenting with our own Zippy Grow Super Size Ever Pop popcorn. Wow, what a bang when it pops. Goes off like a firecracker. As soon as we can figure out how to get the bang out of the pop, we're gonna put it on the market. In the meantime, we think that's the answer to your mystery. It is? Yep. We figure some of our experimental super-sized popcorn must have gotten to one of our official daisy seed packets. And you bought it. <gasps> Oh, no! Great song. We all feel so sorry it happened. We're sending you a year's supply of Zippy Grow Daisy Seed Packets. Compliments of Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for pretty gardens is our motto. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate your help. Good night. Oh, no! I've called you all here is to see if we can put our heads together and figure out what we want to do with these. <laughs> well, since Blueberry says it's popcorn, I say let's pop it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh, it sounds good to me. All right, let's get popping. Okay, yeah, and have a popcorn party. I think that would be lovely. Oh, that's that's great. Great. I wish I had listened to you, Strawberry, when you said I should replant them somewhere else. Now look at all the trouble my garden has caused. I'm afraid a popcorn party with this popcorn would be ill-advised, meaning not a good idea. You see, the seed company hasn't figured out how to take the bang out of the pop, and I believe it would be too dangerous. Huh? Oh my! We are pretty bitty. And this corn pop's very big. Yeah, oh, it's not a good idea. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's an idea. Um, we could dig up all the corn stalks and move them so no more grows here. Good idea. We'll start right away. And we better get all these ears of corn out of town before they ripen and drop their seeds and grow goodness knows how many more. Good point. Oh, I wonder how far we'll have to take them. I would estimate far enough away so when the seeds do grow, they don't threaten us again. Makes sense to me. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 On oh, strawberry, how can we move them? We're so bitty, and they're so big. <sighs> Too bad we can't eat them. I have an idea. Orange, do you have any more rope in your store? Yes, I do. Why? Okay, let's move them out! enough away, I believe. Some kind of cave. 
Okay. What's that? Smoke? No. It looks like steam. Probably some kind of underground hot spring. Hey! We're down here! I hope they can hear us. Come on, this is the direction they rolled. How long do you think it's been? Hours, but at least with the steam heat we'll be warm. I'm getting hungry. Yeah. Me too. I wish I had an idea how to get us out of this. Oh, I never read about this kind of thing in any of my books. We'll figure out a way. Improvise. What we need is a ladder. Too bad all we have is an ear of corn. Wait, what did you say? Improvise. That's it! Hey! An, an ear of corn ladder! Yeah! <laughs> From the vent is making it too slippery. If only that steam vent would stop steaming. Now I'm really hungry. I wonder how raw popcorn tastes. Wait, why eat it raw? Because this place doesn't have a kitchen to cook it with. Use the steam vent. Heat the corn and make it pop. Then we could eat it. Good thinking, Strawberry. <laughs> They should be. It's like they just vanished into thin air. It doesn't make sense. Then uh, maybe we should look in all the places that, you know, uh, don't make sense. What, like the opposite direction from where we last saw them? Why not? Well, at least we'll have plenty to eat. We can always pop more corn. Popcorn. That's it! Let's pop all the corn and it will fill up this cavern and carry us to the top. Oh, Blueberry, that's a great idea.
be pretty important. Very important. It's a birthday card to a friend of mine. Oh, I hope I'm mailing it in time. When's the birthday? Next week. Oh, it'll get there in plenty of time. Another letter! Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm afraid I've come down with a case of bumbly, wheezy, sneezy fever. <laughs> Oh, dear. That's too bad. Well, I think you'd better go home until you feel better. I think that's a very good idea. Yeah, 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 but... Yeah, 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 but... Thank you. <laughs> <gasps> Quick, turn him around. Bless you. Thank you. No, oh, now how am I going to get the mail delivered today? Is there a problem, Postmaster? Well, the problem is, all my delivery bees are on vacation. Which wouldn't be a problem, because they still have one left. Well, the problem is... <laughs> he's it. Oh. So, now the only one left to get the mail delivered is me. Oh, dear. But well, even that wouldn't be a problem. I can deliver the mail to Barry Betty City myself, but... But not this. What's that? Special delivery for Clement Cricket. Clear out in Acorn Acres. <laughs> Label says it's for his birthday. When's his birthday? Today. Today? Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> Here, J.D. Bug, let me help you. No, no. You should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I guess you're right. <sighs> Poor Clem. Looks like his birthday present will be late. But we can only do our very best. Wait! What if I helped you deliver this package, I mean? Well, <laughs> that's mighty kind of you, Miss Shortcake, but all the way to Acorn Acres, this is not exactly a hop, skip, and a jump, you know. Yeah, it's cross the bridge way on the other side of the river. I have a scooter. I'm sure I can get it there in time. And I have the day off from the cafe, so I am at your service. <laughs> well, now, that's about the nicest thing I've heard in quite a while. Are you sure you want to give it a try? Very sure. All righty, then. <clears throat> Raise your right hand, please. Repeat after me. I, strawberry shortcake. I, strawberry shortcake. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. <sighs> You are now an official delivery person of the Barry Bitty City Post Office. <laughs> Strawberry! That looks great on you! Thanks, Orange! Thank you, Strawberry. This means a lot to me in the post office, and I expect to Mr. Cricket. <laughs> J.D. Bug will stamp the package and get you on your way. Okay, Jeannie Bug. No! Here, let me... <laughs> no, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I, I guess you're right. Here, I can help. Why, why, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Anybody home? Right there, Plum! Well, if you can stamp this package, I'll be on my way. Oh! <laughs> right. 
dance. Dance! Dance! No! Oh! <laughs> that was me. <laughs> stamps. 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 Ah! There. Do not open till Christmas? Oh, absolutely. It'd be cheating. Huh? But it's his birthday. Oops. <laughs> Agile? This end up. <laughs> Return to sender? Oh! Special delivery! Wait! How about a nice... Don't drop this package! Oh! Oh! Here's a... Sorry! Doesn't live here anymore! Huh. I've been looking for that one for months. No! Thank you! <laughs> Congratulations to our new postal carrier. Orange told me all about it. Hi, Plum. Love the hat. Do you get to keep it? No, just helping out for the day. <laughs> Hiya, Pupcake. Take good care of this package, okay? It's got to go all the way to Acorn Acres. <laughs> Acorn Acres? Way out there? Oh, can you make it in one day? Oh, it's still morning. Plenty of time. Uh, wait! Uh, who's taking care of your cafe? Mr. Longface. He's teaching a cake decorating class. Psst, strawberry. Lemon? What is it? I've got a problem. Pupcake, you better wait here. Take care of the package, okay? <laughs> Lemon, are you okay? Uh, uh, sure, sure. What is it? Something's wrong, isn't it? Here, there's a great article on two-tone toenail polish. I would like to see how my hair looks. Oh, hold on. I used a new hair mousse, and it's not exactly working out. I'm scared she's gonna... Oh, I don't want to think what she'll do when she sees. It's too terrible to... Let me see. Okay, but please keep your cool. As always. Yeah. Okay, come on. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Wow, that's a... a hairstyle, all right. Now can I? Not yet. Lemon, I've got to deliver a package for the postmaster. I'd love to stay, but... Oh, no, 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 no. You can't leave me. Strawberry, please think of something. I don't know what to do. I'd like to keep blueberries my friend, but when she finds out, she's gonna... No! Oh, and then she'll... No! Oh, no! Okay, where's the bottle? Hmm. You know, I had a cake recipe that kept coming out just like that. Too hard, so I added pudding to the mix. Pudding? Try washing her hair with some vanilla pudding, then rinse it, then add stay-in conditioner with a little, um, avocado oil. That should smooth it all down. Hmm, you think? Worth a try. And don't worry, blueberry always comes around. <sighs> Thanks, Strawberry. You calmed me down. I was just so flustered I couldn't think. <laughs> You're very welcome. Very Bitty City Post Office. We do the very best we can. J.D. Bug speaking. Oh, no. Uh, yes, sir. I'll tell her right away. Has Strawberry gone yet? Yeah. Uh, why? The postmaster just heard at the storm we had the other night. It blocked the road to Acorn Acres. She won't be able to get through. <gasps> oh, no! Strawberry? Strawberry, come back! Make a plan, cause it's time to take 
even if we could clear the road, it'd take us too long. <laughs> oh, I think the only thing to do is keep going without the scooter. To Rosevale, Brookville, um, and that must be the way to Acorn Acres. Great. <sighs> now, which way should I go? Uh, I keep telling them they should fix this huh? thing, but do they listen? Because you didn't ask nice. What do you know about nice? Uh, nice is my middle name. Uh, no, it um, isn't. Excuse uh -huh. me. Yes. Um, is not. Okay, what is my middle name then? Ladybird. <laughs> Your name's Sadie Bug, Ladybird, Fairy Beetle. <gasps> How did you know that? Um, girls? Because maybe I've known you all your life and I'm your twin sister. My luck. If someone had asked me, I would have picked a different twin sister. Me too. Or, or, or I'd pick triplets. But none of them would have been you. <gasps> uh, hello? <laughs> well, don't just stand there. We need your help. You certainly aren't talking to me. Are you? We most very certainly are. Certainly for certain. Oh, well, what can I help you with? Can't you see? Sorry, but, um, you're gonna have to tell me. Let's make her guess. Silly, stop fooling around. This is serious. Well, I have a serious, uh, thing too. And, oh, can you tell me how to get to Acorn Acres? <gasps> Grew uh, away? And we're really hungry. <laughs> I'm hungrier. I said it first. <laughs> Doesn't mean you were hungrier first. Girls, please, please explain. How did your picnic grow away? Well, we were looking for a place to have our picnic. And I had some great ideas, but she wouldn't listen. Because my ideas were best. And while you were uh, discussing, the flower grew up where you left your picnic things? And now our picnic is up there! And we're down here! And I'm hungry. I'm hungrier. I am. Come on! We better get your things before they grow away any further. No way! You're gonna help us? Of course! But we need to be quick. That is so nice of you! Almost there. Steady, steady. Now lower. Watch out, Pupcake. <sighs> there. Oh. Hey, that's mine. Nuh uh. I made it. You made it for me? Okay, then what did you make for me? <gasps> Don't spill that. <laughs> I can't open this. Give it to me, then. With your shaky hands? <laughs> I think not. <sighs> Come on, Pupcake. I guess the only thing we can do is try one of these roads. Where are you going? Yeah, don't you want to join us? It's a picnic for two, but you could share some of hers. Oh, thank you. But I have to deliver a package to Clem Cricket. If 
only I knew how to get there. Oh, right! It's his birthday! Yup. Too bad he didn't have a party. Maybe he didn't invite us. Why would someone not invite me? How did you know it was his birthday? He's a friend of ours. Yep, lives right up the road, right up there. This road? Uh, no, that one. Mm, that one. That way, to the river. Oh, yeah, you're right. I am? Yep, just follow it to the river, go across the bridge, over the next hill, and you'll be right there. Go. Oh, thank you. Anytime. Sure thing. Hear that, Pupcake? <gasps> it sounds like a river. Look, Pupcake, the bridge. Come on. On the other side is Acorn Acres. We're almost there. Oh, we're gonna make it in time. <laughs> Here, Pupcake, pull it up. <laughs> that was close. Getting across. was out. Oh, Strawberry. Listen, I have to go tell the postmaster what happened. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? I wish there was. I just... don't know what it would be. Hey, your hair looks really nice. Your idea really worked. Thank you. And the avocado oil? My hair's never been so shiny. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad. What a day! <laughs> everything got delivered. I'm sorry to say, not everything. I'm very sorry. I tried. I got as far as the bridge, but it was out. Yeah, I'd heard about it after you'd gone. Too late to stop you, I'm afraid. It's quite a thing you did getting that far. But I didn't deliver the package. The mail didn't get through. Oh, and I promised it would. Actually, you promised to do the very best that you could. And you did that. You see, there are times when things happen that are out of our control. The only thing we can do is the best we can. I'll call the post office in Big Bitty City. See if we can bring in some help. Maybe take the back road through Oak Tree Meadows and get to Acorn Acres that way. Will they get here in time? Well, we can only do our very best. I just wish I could have delivered it. Maybe you still can, Strawberry. What's all this? I, um, sort of spread the word that you needed help. You always help us when we need it. So we decided to help you. Here in Very Bitty City, we always try to help each other get the job done. We all put our heads together and came up with an idea to help you deliver the package. Oh, thank you, everyone. What idea? Cupcake? Cupcake, where are you? <clears throat> huh? Do you need a bridge now? I think this is perfect. Thank you, everybody. Da -da. <laughs> Miss Shortcake. Oh. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Hang on, Pupcake. <laughs> Yes. 
special delivery for Clem Cricket. <laughs> That's me. This is for you. And happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt. Hi, J.D. Buck. No problem. Just rehearsing for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Can I get you something? I was just wondering if I could bother you for a um, cup of tea? Of course. Have a seat, wherever you'd like. What kind of tea are you in the mood for? <sighs> oh, something warm and comforting. Lemon or mint? Oh, dear. Oh, my. I can't decide. What do you think? Chamomile. May I ask, you seem a little jumpy. Is anything wrong? I'm nervous. It's my cousins. Sadie Bug and Katie Bug? They just left a message on my phone that they're coming to visit for a whole week. And I'm going to have to tell them they can't. Why not? My um, guest room, it's being repainted. Oh, they'll be so disappointed beside themselves. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how I'm going to tell them. Oh, my. Well, what if they stay with me here at the cafe? Oh, they'd put you through much too much trouble. I'd be thrilled to have house guests. It'd be fun. Are you sure? Really? I'm very sure. I have a book with tips on hostessing somewhere up here. Good. I want ideas on how to make them feel really welcome and special. We could make them gift bags. Oh, yeah, like little travel or, uh, oh, you know, um, overnight kits. Oh, I could even sew them. Here it is. Thanks, Blueberry. I could put a toothbrush, toothpaste, and bitty hand soaps inside. Wow, that would be very nice, Orange. The very best hostess. Take the guesswork out of having guests. At home, away from home. The first rule of being a hostess is making your guests feel comfortable. Comfortable? Oh, what else does it say? Um, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. Never embarrass them by pointing out that their ways of doing things are different from yours. So, if they sleep upside down, don't say anything? <laughs> guess so. <laughs> Their arrival should be a celebration. We could throw a tea party in their honor. Oh, we can have it in the cafe. I'll make a welcome banner. I'll help you. Thanks, Lemon. Watch out. Your guests will love it so much. Next thing you know, you'll have to open a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> All this for my cousins? Isn't it gonna be fun? Oh, but Strawberry, you've gone to so much trouble. You all have. Oh, me. Oh, my. You even embroidered their gift bags. But that's what being a good hostess is all about, J.D. Bug. I'm enjoying this, really. But you don't even know if they'll end up staying very long. I thought they were staying for a week. Oh, yes, but <laughs> oh, you never know what will happen. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Katie Bug, Sadie Bug, it's uh, been too long. Likewise. What to eat? Oh, uh, I. Welcome to Very Bitty City. It's so nice to see you. Everyone, this is Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. Hi, Hi darling. Nice to meet you. You'll be staying with me at my cafe. Can I help you with your bags? Sure. Knock yourself out. During the day, I'm sure you'll be visiting with your cousin, but after the cafe closes, I have a place fixed up for you upstairs. <laughs> Why would we visit J.D. Bug when we can hang out where the food is? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. Uh, you're just joking, right? Your cousins sure are kidders, J.D. Bug. <laughs> yeah, kidders. <laughs> ooh, ooh, what did you get? Hey, I want that. Not fair. Let me see yours. Yours is better. It is not. Is too. Hey, that's my favorite color. Is not. Yeah, huh? Is so. What? No straw? I beg your pardon? <laughs> A straw? That's wacky. Excuse me. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Give me. That's mine. But it's mine. No. Finders keepers. Oh, girls. <laughs> we don't use straws in a teacup. <laughs> Remember. A good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. Um, I don't know if that's a quirk or just bad manners. Bad manners, I'm afraid. My cousins are the worst of the worst. <laughs> I guess this is just their way. Oh, Strawberry, I am so sorry. I don't think you're going to be able to tolerate their ways for very long. No, no, J.D. Bug. I volunteered to host them, and that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Strawberry! How's everything going with the twins? Uh, just... <laughs> The great stuff! I brought you a treat. Ooh, come here. Look at this. <laughs> Girl, <coughs> let's not use up all of <coughs> Orange's perfume. <coughs> Yum! Mmm, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Well, I'm off to deliver the rest of these. See you later. Thanks again. You're welcome. Girls? <gasps> Hi, girls. How's the dance number coming? Almost ready for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Oh, 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 uh, we can dance. Watch. We're really good. Huh? <laughs> they should do a comedy routine at your cabaret. Please! <laughs> Don't encourage them. So, how's it going, being the perfect hostess? Uh, well... Oh, boy, you must be having a great time. Uh-huh. They must love the guest room the way you fixed it up for them. Well, they like my bedroom better. You gave them your bedroom? Uh, they sort of took it. But it's nice for me <laughs> to have a chance to sleep in the guest room. Huh? Uh-huh. Too bad there's not a book called How to Be the Very Best Guests. <gasps> <laughs> Those are my cooking utensils. Please don't put them in the dirt. Ah, come on. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, we want to be sculptors. We're making art. <laughs> If you'd like something to eat, I'll fix it for you. But I'm going to have to ask you not to eat out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Please. Uh, 
this is a cafe. Mm, like where people eat stuff. Mm. And mm. that's what we're doing. Uh -huh. <gasps> mm. Better in you. Nah, uh huh. Uh huh. Girls, I really need to practice for Cafe Cabaret. It's an evening of entertainment I host in the cafe. It's in a couple of days. Oh, we'll help you. Testing. <sighs> Ugh. How do you turn this thing on? <laughs> Ooh, we are live. Hit it, Sadie Bug. Very best friends forever. Ever, 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 ever. Give me that. <laughs> Very best friends for forever. Forever. <laughs> we never let each other. before cabaret night, do we? Oh. She's totally got a point. Okay, from the top. <laughs> oh, Mr. Longface, how are you? Uh, could I have a word, Miss Shortcake? Outside. Of course. So, what did you do with me? My guests aren't disturbing you, are they? Well, uh, I really came to see how you were holding up. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mr. Longface. Well, I was thinking you could probably do with a break from hostessing. Why not let me watch the cafe for the rest of the day and you take a breather at the pond or anywhere far away from here and then? Oh, I couldn't. After all, they are my guests. You could. I insist. Mr. Longface, I don't know how I can thank you enough. <laughs> You'd better go now while they're occupied. I'll keep them entertained. Good luck. The fragrance of the blooming flowers was carried by a warm, gentle breeze to the snout of the little rabbit who knew at last spring had arrived. There was only one thing that kept the little rabbit from enjoying the calm peace of the meadow. I'm sorry, Custard, Pupcake. We'll finish the story later. I can't relax. I have a strange feeling that all is not right back at the cafe. I just feel like I better check on Mr. Longface and... And those twins. <laughs> Mr. Longface! I'm sorry, Miss Shortcake. I tried to stop them, but they're, they're unstoppable. They buttered the floor. <laughs> buttered the floor? Why would a person butter a floor? <laughs>
little help here? Strawberries Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Oh, hello, Princess Berrykin. Yes, they're cleaning everything up, doing a very good job. I can't believe those two left the juice taps running. I'll talk to you later, Princess. I came to help. Thank you, Blueberry. Strawberry, it's time you sent them packing. Who? You know who. Those house pests. How can I kick someone out that I invited? I mean, are they really that bad? I know you don't want to say anything bad about your guests, but sometimes it helps to confide in a friend. You know, let off some steam. <sighs> you know, you're right. I should confide in someone. So you see, girls, I do want you to stay here, and I want you to feel comfortable, but I want to feel comfortable too. Huh? Oh, <laughs> girls. Are you listening? So, I need you to be more considerate to me and to the customers. And I can help you with your manners, if you'll agree to listen. Listen, I've heard enough. So have I. Oh, have you ever heard such rudeness in your life? Huh? We can tell when we aren't wanted. I don't know how staying with me would work. See, I just moved all my new clocks into the guest room. It's my clock winding room. Sorry. Oh, well, um, you could sleep on my floor. That is, uh, oh, if you know, <laughs> I didn't have all my dress patterns laid out just now. <sighs> oh, I'm really sorry. All my cousins are visiting right now. There's, uh, hundreds of them. I'm just, uh, full up. Uh, I'm leaving for vacation. Tonight. Uh, right, right now. Um, oh, we could house it. Oh, no. I mean, you see, the floor just got polished. I can't walk on it. <laughs> yeah. Very bitty city is so rude. Yeah, rude like those people in Gladiola Glen. And the folks in Mellonville. Rude, rude, rude. Oh, people seem so friendly at first. Then they're always turning on us. I just don't get it. Hello. How's about putting us up for the night? <sighs> I'm afraid I can't. Why not? The truth is, I don't like the way you treated your last hostess. My friend Strawberry? Oh! <gasps> Neither do we. Okay, <laughs> we're so sorry, Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. We should have told you the truth. We made up excuses so we wouldn't have to host you. And that wasn't right. You mean, none of you like us? We like you, but we don't think you've used good manners as house guests. You can be funny, but you aren't very considerate. Hey! I figured it out. Don't feel badly, Strawberry. Everywhere else the twins have stayed, they've been kicked out by... by... Why, you are the first host who didn't kick them out. <laughs> it's true. We got something to say. Oops. Oh, <laughs> Um, may we come in? Well, sure. Please do. <clears throat> okay. We'd like to say we're sorry. We thought everyone else was rude, but now we see it was always us. Yeah, you were like the perfect hostess. And you were the first person to be honest with us. And we were totally awful. Uh-huh, icky. Really, ew. Will you still teach us how to have good manners? Uh-huh, and be nice house guests? I never thought I'd see the day. I'll make you a deal. I'll teach you good manners. <laughs> if you also let me teach you how to sing. Oh, uh, deal. But good luck teaching us to sing. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty awful.
<laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Princess Berrykin is always the one to plant the zippy grow geranium seed when the last snow berrykin is melted. I know. Of all the times to be called away by the Biddy Berry Growers Association to Berry Big City. But I'm sure it must have been very urgent. There's no way around it. It's up to you, Berrykin Bloom, to plant the first flower of spring. Mm -hmm. Oh! Can bloom. There he is. <laughs> Time for the very best spring festival. <laughs> According to my history and mystery of Berry Bitty City, first edition. There has to be a Berryfest princess. And Princess Berrykin has been Berryfest princess since the beginning of the book. So who's gonna do it now? <gasps> the Berryfest princess has great responsibilities. She must organize and manage and lead the festival. And she must... Plant the events! Judge all the flowers! Smell all the flowers! Know all about spring! Not to mention the Wanderberry! And of course, she must ride in the front of a parade in a beautiful carriage. That's for me. How will we ever choose? Uh, draw straws? Mm -hmm. A quick game of musical chairs? Oh. Find someone with a name that rhymes with drum? It was just a thought. Well, there's only one way to be fair. Berry Bitty City must do something it's never done before. <laughs> Have an election. You know, when I choose someone to work at the post office, they have to show me they can do the job first. Oh, a splendid idea indeed. Let's put the potential candidates through a few tests, eh? Huh? To see if they have what it takes to be very fast princess. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> The first challenge! The very first princess judges the flower contest at the festival. Let's see who knows their flowers. You may proceed. Ah, oh, that's easy. A rose by any other name would still smell as rosy. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> I 
think I have a double begonia. Don't you mean double pneumonia, Katie Bug? No, no, no. Katie Bug was right the first time. It is a begonia. <laughs> And you had three slices of cantaloupe at lunch? Uh, you are right. On both counts. What do you call a flower that grows in between your nose and your chin? Tulips. Get it? <laughs> Tulips. Ooh, good answer. And a lackluster joke. Lackluster? What does that mean? He means not so good. Huh. I thought it was a fabulous joke. Well, everyone has different tastes, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you ate your flower, and you are disqualified. I couldn't help it. I was hungry. I think she ate a honeysuckle. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> that is a zinnia, a genus of 20 species of annual and perennial plants of family Asteraceae. Hmm. I suppose you are correct. It's a zinnia, at least. Oh, boy. I just don't know. Oh, terribly sorry. It was a daffodil. Oh, shucks. No wonder I missed it. Daffodils aren't in fashion this season. With two down, we now move to our final contest. The Berry Fest princess must know her way around the berry grove so that she can catch the Wanderberry. She must show enough athletic ability and stamina to lead the parade, and she must show an appreciation for growing things. The final contestants must climb a strawberry plant. Pick a strawberry, climb down, plant the strawberry, and water the strawberry. First two to finish, win! Hooray! Hooray! On your marks, get set, plant! Oh, now, which one should I climb? That one looks good, but oh, rather high. Oh, what if I fall? Oh, uh, that one's nice, but oh, the berry is so big, I might drop it. Let me see. Oh, here it is. 100 ways to gather strawberries. One, use a basket. Two, use a bigger basket. Three, don't use a basket, but use a chair to climb up and then use a basket. Oh, good climbing, Orange. You're fast. You're doing great, too. <laughs> Thank you. First, water it, and then get the strawberry. Nice strawberry you picked, Strawberry. I like yours, too. Thank you. Uh-oh. Hey, who turned out the lights? Let me out. Hey, oh, look, I grew a Katie Berry. We have our two candidates! Yeah. Oh. Aha! Here it is, number 78. Take a basket in your left hand and one in your right. Oh, we're done already? Sure are. I'm gonna ride in that parade carriage no matter what. Me too. to go. Oh, uh, pardon me, Sadie Bug, after you. Sorry, um, let me know you first. <laughs> hey, Strawberry, I've, I've come, come to be your campaign, campaign manager. manager. Uh, well... Hey, I was gonna say that! Well, <laughs> why don't you <laughs> both be my campaign managers and team up? Oh, I would be very glad to have your help. Hmm. I only need 199 more signs made. Dig in! 
again soon and vote for orange. Come again soon and vote for orange. Come again soon and vote for orange. Come again soon and vote for orange. Oh, what are you doing? Um, I'm handing out vote for orange buttons. <laughs> no, 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 no. Huh? 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 Uh, give me that. <laughs> As your official campaign manager, these bitty buttons don't tell a big enough message. Campaign manager? Here you go. And you, and you too. <laughs> Um, Katie Buck, I'm not sure I need a campaign manager, but I really could use a speechwriter. Know any? Don't you worry, soon to be very best princess. I shall take charge and get you the very best. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of. There, all done. That looks great, Lemon. Thanks. Oh, how about my side? Um. <laughs> I the one who's running for Berry Fest Princess? Oops. I thought she looked kind of familiar. I'll just redraw all of them. You know, Sadie Bug, what I could use more than posters is a speechwriter. And since Blueberry is so good at writing, maybe you could see if she might help. Got it, Berry Fest Princess to be. I don't know how to say this, but. I'm not sure Sadie Bug and I are in agreement on the best way to help you win. Oh, I'm not sure I'm in agreement about any of this. Hey, Blueberry! What, what are, are you, you doing, doing here? here? I asked you first. No, I did. Let's call it a tie. Now, what can I do for you two? You, you have, have to write a speech for my candidate. candidate. It would be odd to write a speech for both candidates. And, well, I'm not sure I've decided who I'm going to vote for yet. My candidate's the best. No, mine is. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Stop! You've decided? Well, no, not yet. But my candidate will let you ride with her in the parade. Uh, so will mine, right up in the front. Don't worry, I'll let you know when I decide. Right in the very front. Like, you couldn't ride in a better place. Yeah. What am I going to do about this? Strawberry! What's the matter, Blueberry? Who do I write a speech for, Strawberry? You, Orange? I love you both. I don't want to hurt either of your feelings. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, no. Worst thing that ever happened to her? I wonder if anyone else feels like that. I'm so sorry, Strawberry, but you're just going to have to find your election fashion somewhere else. What? It's too upsetting for me to make dresses for both you and Orange. But why? You love making dresses. Well, I tried, but every time I added a great-looking detail to one dress, I felt, to be fair, that I had to go back to the other one and add it to the other to be sure both dresses were equally fantastic. Because uh, I love you both. It's making me crazy. But, Raspberry, any dress you make for me, I'm sure will be terrific. I won't compare it with oranges, and I'm sure Orange won't either. We'll both just be so happy you made our dresses. I don't know what to do. Oh. <gasps> oh, Strawberry, I don't know what to do. You too? What is it, Plum? I don't know who to vote for. You, Orange, Orange, you? It's tearing me apart. It's fine, Plum. Vote for either Orange or me. Both are good choices. I think Orange would make a great Berry Fest princess. I know. So would you. I don't even know if I want to vote. Oh, my. This is very, very bad. <laughs> That's not what I want to say. Or that. Oh. No, I can do better than that. 
Hello, Strawberry. Having trouble writing your election speech? <sighs> Not my speech. My resignation letter. Resignation? <laughs> Here you're dropping out of the election? Yes. I don't want to run for Berry Fresh Princess anymore. But why not? It's a great honor, you know. And we really need a Berry Fest Princess. I know. But the election is causing too much trouble. Everyone has to make a choice between Orange and me, and it doesn't seem right. We've always been about friends and togetherness. But now, everyone in town is forced to pick one or the other. And some don't know who to vote for and are unhappy. So... So, I think it's best if I drop out of the race. I'm not sure you're seeing why people should have a choice of who to vote for. You think it's, if you vote for me, you like me, and if you vote for her, you like her. But it's not really about that. It sure feels that way. Voting shouldn't be about who anyone likes, but the choice they're offering. And it's good to have different choices in things. A choice in what you want to eat for lunch, or, or what to wear, or anything. And you know that just because the people of Barry Bitty City might not agree on who to vote for, they can still get along. You and your friends have different opinions, yet you all get along. Isn't that right? We do. <laughs> well, most of the time. Too bad my own campaign managers don't. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Great. How about mine? Wonderful. Huh? Hi, Hi strawberry. strawberry. I see you two are getting along. Mm-hmm. We realized we weren't getting anything done not working together. So we made a plan of how to work together. I do the posters my way. And I do the buttons my way. And then we both help each other hand out the buttons and hang up the posters. And most of all, we are both nice no matter what. That's the very best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> so good that it makes me want to write a speech about it. So, like I said, I believe in less planning and more doing. Hmm, more doing. Sounds good to me. Sometimes you just have to jump right in to get things done here in Berry Bitty City. And if you vote for me for Berry Fest Princess, you'll be voting for yourself. Well, actually not yourself, but me. But you know what I mean. I think it would be fun to be Berry Fest Princess. So vote for me! Thank you, Orange Blossom, for that wonderful election speech. <laughs> And now, to hear from our second candidate, Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs> I agree that being Berry Fest Princess will be fun, but it will also be hard work. And I'm ready for that. And I believe in more planning before doing. More planning. Sounds good. So I guess I don't agree with Orange on everything. But that doesn't mean that we don't get along. I was very confused by this election. I wanted to be Berry Fest Princess, but I also wanted my friend Orange to be too. So running against Orange made me confused. And I think it may be confusing a lot of you too. Then I realized that there are good reasons to vote for both of us, different reasons. And so everyone in Berry Bitty City has a chance to choose. And choosing isn't bad. Even though we have different opinions, we all get along. Just remember, no matter who you choose, we'll always, always, always be friends. No matter what. Yeah! Yeah! Now that we've heard the candidates' speeches, it's time to vote! Yeah! Now remember, orange for orange and red for strawberry. We've voted, it's time to count the votes. Yeah! 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 
One for orange. One for strawberry. Two for strawberry. Two for orange. And the last vote is for... Orange! Five plus three, this kind of can carry the two, and, uh... Yes? We have a tie! A tie? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It definitely can't be a tie. As near as I can figure, somebody didn't vote. Oops. Sorry about that. In all the excitement, it must have slipped my mind. Can I vote now? I think you must, or we won't have a berry fest princess. I'm gonna be in the front of the parade. <laughs> the winner of the election and the berry fest princess for this year is. <gasps> Strawberry Shortcake! Me? But, but... You voted for me? I know it would be fun to win, but, well, I, I thought it over. And my opinion is, you would make the best Berry Fest princess. <laughs> Who's riding in the front of the parade? That's right! Me! Actually, Orange and I decided that since both of you were such, uh, good campaign managers, that you should both get to ride at the front of the parade. Both of us? Well, I get to ride in the front of the carriage. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. Oh, well, I tried. You sure did. But I must admit, I'm not sure what a Berry Fest princess does. You've got to judge the flower show. Oh, Go for Get the Honey Daisy. Oh, I have to judge a flower show? I'll be sure not to forget the honey. Got it. You like the carriage? Oh, 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 and twirl the Berry Fest princess baton. Really? I have to twirl the Berry Fest princess baton? I'd better practice. Climb the buffet. Right, the buffet. Apple the cobbler. Cobbler? And ask the black. Oh. Blurkles! Get all the wings! Spaghetti! Oh, the oh, oh, Before, oh, after... Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, but I still don't know what my duties are. It's quite simple, actually. Princess Berry King's Bitty Book of Berry Fest Princess Duty says, the princess shall preside over the festivities of Berry Fest. Especially the parade must be the very best. What does that mean exactly? It means you're responsible for getting everything ready. See you Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Uh, wait, please. This is a great honor, but I'm not sure I know how to put on a parade. Oh, of course. How silly of me. Here's the things to do list. Thank you. This doesn't look so bad. <gasps> oh, galloping grape leaves. This is a lot to do, Custard. Oh, how am I going to get it all done? Hmm, what would a leader do? I know. She would give tasks to the members of her team. But who's my team? <laughs> my friends, of course. And you know, Custard, they've already said they want to help me. Now, all I have to do is assign some of these tasks. Hello, Blueberry. Hi, Lemon. Oh, Plum, my friend. Would you be able to help me with the parade, please, Orange? Raspberry, could you please help me with something? We'd love to. No, oh, I knew they'd help me. See you later, Custard. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, Orange. I'm on my way to plan the buffet, but I thought I'd stop by to see how the garland is. <gasps> huh? What are you doing? I'm sorting these nut pieces for the squirrels. The real nuts got mixed in with the metal nuts. I want everything in my store organized so I can focus on making the garland like you asked. Maybe sorting nuts should wait till after the parade. I'd be happy to help you then. When the box said mixed nuts, <laughs> they weren't kidding. And just when I have so much work on my hands. You know, that garland is very important to the parade. Oh, no, look at the time. I'm late to pick up the petals for my garlands. Um, Strawberry, could you watch my store for just a few minutes? Uh, sure, Orange. Go ahead. Oh, and if you're bored, feel free to sort the nuts. Orange? Oh, she just ran off on an errand. Say, am I glad to see you, Plum. Have you finished the berry can dance for after the parade? Not yet, but I've decided that Orange and I should perform the berry bitty bunny hop during the parade. But the berry kins have to. Since Orange isn't here, I need you to try out some steps with me. I'd <laughs> love to help, Plum, but I'm actually in the middle of a sorting project for Orange. Oh, that's okay. You can keep sorting while you hop. <laughs> now left, right, left, two, three, four. <laughs> Do I want to know? Come on in, Blueberry. We're trying out my parade dance. What do you think? Well, it certainly looks hoppy. Speaking of parade, how is the parade route coming along? It isn't. I looked everywhere for my Berrymatic 3000 writing pen with glow flowing. Then I remembered somebody borrowed it. Oops. <laughs> That's right. I think I left it in my bedroom somewhere. I'm sure that Plum is sorry, Blueberry. Well, I had to make do with a common, ordinary, everyday pencil. So this just isn't as nice as I'd like it to be. I'd like you to look over the map route and see if it looks too long. Uh, I'm a bit busy right now helping Orange and Plum. Uh, 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 could you please come by the cafe in an hour and I'll look at it then? It'll only take a second or a minute, depending on your speed reading ability. Uh, all right. for this parade. Perhaps I can come back later and help all of you. Or better still, perhaps you three could help each other. Sorry, I'm in over my head. I have this entire map to read you, in pen. And my dance has a hippity right where there should be a hop. And these flowers aren't going to string themselves. <sighs> all right. <laughs> Raspberry? Oh, hi, Strawberry. What's going on? Well, I know you're already helping me on the float, but would you also be able to make me a gown, please? Oh, don't be silly. Of course. I'll design it as soon as I finish these wonderful wings for the butterfly float. Oh, at last, someone is helping me. Thank you. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Oh, <laughs> hi, Lemon. Say, Lemon, could I please hear the music you picked for the parade? That's what I came to talk to you about. Wow, is that the butterfly wing I'll be standing next to? Sure is. You want to hold it? Of course. Um... <laughs> See? A perfect match. <laughs> 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 that looks 
looks great, girls. But could we please focus on our parade tasks? Say, do you know what would really make this wing spectacular? Rhinestones! I've got a rhinestone fastener at home. I'll just add some sparkles to this, and it'll be much more springtime paradier. Oh, but wait, the wings are supposed to look exactly the same. I'm sorry Lemon decided to change your design. Oh, no, no, no. She's so right. They should be sparklier. Hey, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter glue to my wing, too. <laughs> or maybe a lot. Yes, sparkles would be nice. But don't we have more important things to do right now, Raspberry? Like for the parade? <laughs> oh, no, but making the wings more sparkly. Sparkly is helping the parade. <laughs> right. Then maybe you and Lemon could decorate the wings together. You know, help each other. Speed things up. <laughs> well, since you're here, you could help me. <laughs> you know, speed things up. I apologize, Raspberry, but I just can't right now. I have a dozen unfinished things to do. Thanks for all your hard work on the float. Gotta go. Bye. Oh, I've tried to be a good leader, Custard, but things haven't gone well. I assigned tasks to my friends and then followed up with them and motivated them, but somehow nothing got finished, Custard. Uh, custard? <laughs> That's exactly right. You got distracted by something, and so did my friends. It's easy to do. I just wish they could be more helpful to each other. It seems like everybody is so stressed. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do each and everything on this list, right down to the last task. Huh? What's this, Custer? Oh, did you find something? Oh, it's the very last task. Oh, no, not another one. It says... I wrote this so fast, I put this task last. But it's rule number one, make the parade fun. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No, wait, that's what I'm doing wrong. I've assigned so many tasks that no one is having fun. Hmm, maybe I'm expecting too much of everyone. From now on, I'll just have to work harder. Baton twirling. Mm, yep. Mm, working on it. <laughs> Strawberry. Huh? I know it's getting late, but this is all the garland I've gotten done so far. Oh, that's fine, Orange. Don't worry. Leave this here and I'll take care of the rest. Thank you very much. Oh, and Orange, keep smiling. Uh, okay. <sighs> Look, Strawberry, I've changed the parade route again. I like this one much better. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, just one second, Blueberry. Uh. <gasps> Wait, these posts are in the wrong place. That's the old route. This is the new route. If I'd gotten your map sooner, Blueberry, we could have changed things. But no time now. We'll have to go with your own. But I did this one in ink. Oh, don't be upset. I'll try and move the posts. I want you to be happy. Hey, Blueberry, check out my bunny hop. I made it way better. That's the fifth time you've made it better, Plum. Hey, Strawberry, which huh? of our wings looks prettier? <laughs> Girls, this is a parade, not a competition. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> they both look fine. See, she likes mine best. Uh-uh, not in a billion trillion years. Oh, oh. Look, Strawberry. I 
had to make more garland because blueberry tells me the parade route is now longer. <laughs> what are we supposed to decorate with that? A shoebox? At least I'm doing something useful. Um, can somebody help me, please? Dancing is useful, not when it's too hard to do. I can't possibly learn your new double hoppity in time. It isn't my fault that Lemon took so long choosing the music. Hey, you're hopping on my map! Huh? Whoa. Ow! Would you mind keeping that thing out of my face? Yours is a monstrosity. My map is ruined! Hopping is silly! You're lucky all you have to do is garland. Oh, no! This is no fun. So, yeah! Somebody? I gave them so much work, they've forgotten how to be nice to one another. Well, at least one of them has come back to help me. Strawberry, I'm not good with the needle and thread, and this needs some beef. I'll be back in ten minutes to pick it up. Gotta go. So behind on the music. <gasps> Galloping gooseberries! She can't be found. <laughs> Have you seen Strawberry? No, but I found her baton in the cafe. She's not in any of the shops. And we've looked everywhere. What if she quit? Why would anyone give up being the very best princess? Well, she did mention having a lot of tasks. Well, I did my task. <sighs> uh, sorta. Yeah, I kind of let her down too, I guess. She asked me to do just one little thing, and I just kept asking her to help me. And I didn't even say please. Girls, I think we all got so wrapped up in our little projects and what we needed that we didn't even pay attention to what Strawberry needed. <laughs> no wonder she took off. If I was her, I'd quit too. I was so selfish. She kept asking us to help each other, and instead we were just rude to each other. I was mean. And she only asked us to do one little thing. And I messed it up with my rhinestones. No, no. It was all me with my silly glitter. Trying to have the best wing. Why didn't we just help each other out like she asked? <laughs> Here, please take my hanky. Thank you. We're all to blame. And after Strawberry worked so hard. <laughs> what a great leader. Never complained. Always polite. Heart of gold. And she cared so much about us having fun. And now she's left. <laughs> can someone help me down? I can still hear her pleading voice in my memory. <gasps> Please? Wait! That voice is real! <gasps> Look! Up there! <gasps> hey! Over here! Whoa. We've just got to save her! Come on, everyone!
<laughs> uh, what's so funny, Strawberry? Uh, I'll tell you when we get down. Grab and pull, please! Down around! Grab and pull, please! Pull her down! Grab and pull! To the ground! Grab and pull! Safe and sound! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> now, why were you grinning up there, Strawberry? <laughs> Well, high on that branch, I watched you all march here to my rescue. <laughs> I wish you could have seen it. Marching and singing and carrying garlands. It looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Once we worked together and were nice to each other. Girls, I was worried for a minute we wouldn't have a parade. But you just gave me the best parade ever. We did? We did! No, no, no. Let's be clear about this. Strawberry, it was you who made this parade happen. You never gave up, even when no one was helpful. And we all thank you from the very bottom of our hearts. No. You're making me feel like a real princess. <laughs> 